Have you ever wondered what a Pulse survey could do for your business? Pulse surveys are a quick and easy way to collect and respond to employee feedback. In today's video, we'll tell you more about what a Pulse survey is, why you should consider using it, and some of the best practices to keep in mind when creating, implementing, and responding to them. Do Pulse surveys sound like something you'd like to try at your organization? I'm Alex from Jotform. Let's learn more. Recently, companies have begun to realize exactly how critical employee engagement is to their performance, team satisfaction, and employee retention. Encouraging employees to share their opinions enables human resource workers and company leadership to make better business decisions. A commonly used tool for collecting employee feedback is a pulse survey, which is a great way to supplement annual employee surveys throughout the year. Today, we'll dive deeper into what exactly a Pulse survey is, as well as its benefits and how to create one to fit your needs. So first, what is a Pulse survey? A Pulse survey is a survey containing a few short questions intended to gather employee feedback on a specific topic over the course of a certain period of time. Pulse surveys can be distributed as often as weekly or quarterly, and due to their high frequency, they only take a few minutes to fill out. What separates the Pulse survey from formal annual surveys is the short format. While annual surveys may have many questions covering a variety of organizational initiatives, Pulse surveys focus on one specific topic to track employee opinions over time. This provides a pulse for how an employee feels about the topic at that specific time. While annual surveys are certainly valuable, helping leadership to gain feedback on company culture and organizational direction, they tend to involve a lot of data collection and analysis. When you take into account the preparation and post-survey work, utilizing annual survey data in a meaningful way can eat up a lot of time. This is what is so appealing about the Pulse survey, as it allows employees to give key feedback as needed throughout the year. Pulse surveys are quick, easy, and customizable. And with real-time data, your team can be more responsive to employee feedback. Picture this. If large-scale annual employee surveys are a wheel, Pulse surveys are the spokes propping up the wheel that ensure you are heading in the right direction. Now that we've defined what a Pulse survey is, we can talk about why it's beneficial and could even be necessary. No organization should make a major business decision without understanding how it could impact customers and your employees, which should be your first concern. This makes the consistent engagement and feedback of your employees critical. Reaching out to get a pulse for what they're feeling can show that you're invested in their contributions and development. Employees tend to be more engaged in their work when they know their thoughts are valued and can help guide business decisions. Statistics show that highly engaged business units observe a 17% increase in productivity and 59% less employee turnover than other less engaged business teams. One huge benefit of a Pulse survey is its ability to keep employees engaged on a regular basis, meaning employees feel a sense of ownership and satisfaction with the organization. When employees feel more informed about the company as a result of their participation, they feel motivated to go above and beyond their roles. Another benefit of the Pulse survey is the response rate, as Pulse surveys have a typical response rate from 90 to 100%. This differs from annual surveys that tend to have a response rate from 30 to 40%. Earlier, we mentioned the wheel-spoke relationship between the annual survey and Pulse survey models. As you can now see, these statistics highlight precisely how important Pulse surveys are when it comes to obtaining more responses and allowing you to paint a clear picture of the results of your HR department and executive leadership. But don't worry, the benefits don't end there. Pulse surveys also allow you to dive deep on certain topics or issues, focusing the entirety of the survey on one topic signals to employees that a specific area is in need of change and to feed action planning. Widespread feedback on a certain idea fills in the gaps and helps you to craft a well-rounded plan of action that involves everyone's point of view. Now you might be wondering, how can you create a Pulse survey that fits your needs? Wherever you're starting from, it's important to keep in mind several factors that could make or break your survey, such as the types of questions you include, how you pose the questions, how often you send your survey, and what you do with the information that you've gathered.
All of these elements play a part in creating a survey that serves your organization's needs and results in a high response rate. Let's look at each of these more closely. What's unique about surveys is that they not only measure engagement, but promote employee engagement as well. The questions you choose to include in your survey will depend on your company and its goals. However, several common areas to focus on are employee satisfaction, company culture, trust in management, leadership, communication, growth opportunities, and general attitudes towards a specific topic. Depending on your specific survey, there are three ways you could choose to pose your question. First, there's the Likert scale, which is a five to seven point scale that rates the user's level of agreement with a topic or statement. It can also be used to measure frequency, likelihood, and quality. As opposed to a simple yes or no, a Likert scale covers a range of opinions and can yield quantitative data that can be easily reviewed and analyzed. Second, there's the dichotomous scale, which is a two-point scale presenting opposite opinions such as yes or no and fair or unfair. This scale requires the participant to commit to one choice or the other. Put simply, these types of questions are short and simple to answer. Dichotomous questions should only be used when there are only two possible answers, not in instances meant to address a degree of feeling or emotion. Third, there's open-ended questions, which allow the user to provide feedback in their own words. These responses can be valuable for collecting qualitative feedback, and they can help to reinforce quantitative data that you've collected elsewhere. While keeping in mind that pulse surveys should remain short and quick, we suggest that you utilize a mix of these question types, but with no more than one or two open-ended questions. This ensures that you get a higher number of responses and more well-rounded feedback. So, how often should you send out pulse surveys? Though pulse surveys are short and easy to fill out, you should be thoughtful of how often you're sending them out. Both using them too often and not often enough could result in lower engagement rates or even a loss of employee trust. Here's a few parameters to follow for survey frequency. Pulse surveys should be sent either monthly or weekly to best track change. The shorter the survey, the more often you can send it, but the longer the survey, the less often you should send it. Send out your surveys frequently enough to allow employees to give meaningful feedback, but not so often that you're unable to address any concerns in between surveys. As mentioned earlier, one of the best parts of Pulse surveys is their high response rate. But if you want to keep rates high, ensure employee focus, and guarantee success, you should keep the following guidelines in mind. First, you'll need to collect your data. Collecting and organizing the data that you've gathered can be a complicated process. The faster you obtain the data through laptops or mobile and translate it into an easy to understand format, the sooner meaningful action can take place. And JotForm is here to help you eliminate the back and forth nature of the process by assigning forms to team members to gather and manage submissions from one device or even offline through JotForm Mobile. Then try to remain transparent. Share the data you collect with relevant teams and include a summary of your progress for your team to see the outcomes of the feedback they give. This is a win-win as leadership will be happy that employees are sharing and helping the company to grow and employees will be more confident knowing that information flows freely and is not kept in a vacuum. Once you've gathered survey responses, feedback, and important customer data, the JotForm Report Builder can turn it into professional reports and presentations that update automatically. Lastly, take action. Compile your survey results and turn them into insights that allow you to create an action plan for the whole organization. When meaningful planning comes from employee feedback, team members become more engaged, appreciating the investment being made. Though that may seem like a lot to add to your to-do list, JotForm offers over 300 survey templates, making it easier to collect your data. You can either use a survey template or start from scratch with a basic survey. Sooner than you know it, you'll be on your way to sending out your first Pulse survey. With all of the great stuff we've discovered today, let's go ahead and take a moment to review. A Pulse survey contains a few short questions on employee feedback and is collected over the course of a specific time period. There are many benefits to implementing poll surveys like encouraging employee engagement and overall satisfaction. When creating your poll survey, keep in mind that the types of questions you include and the frequency that you send the survey out matters. So remain mindful as you move through the survey process. 
Once you've gathered information through the surveys, be sure to be transparent by sharing it with your team and take action by turning the results into a meaningful action plan for your organization. Thanks for watching. Again, I'm Alex from Jotform. See you next time. Thank you.